welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die. Uh, Rock is back with me again today. Hello again, Rock. Hey, how's it going? Uh, you know, not too bad. Any day that I can play a game is a good day. Alright, now I get to go around and see what changes Rock has made to the base. It doesn't look like much outside, though. Alright, so what do we got going on? I don't even remember what we were doing, to be honest. Yeah, just preparing for Horde Night, pretty much. Uh, okay, so I better check see how many arrows I have. Oh, I have plenty. Yeah, I was making sand, because I have no sand. Why do I have some blocks made? Mm. I'm not sure either. I made them last time for some reason or other. So how is Dabbing liking Seven Days to Die? Oh, he was dying a few times. <laughs> he was loving it. Worse than like worse than me. Oh, believe me, I had a heck of a time too. I uh, checked out that bunker next to our base, and I died twice. Uh, the one right over there. Yeah, right next to us. I I went down into it from the top and died twice because there was more zombies in there than I thought there'd be. Oh, so that bunker's now open. Well, I closed it back up with wood frame, wood platform things. But oh, so there's still a ton down there, huh? No, no, I cleared it out. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's fine now. Now where the hell are you at already? I can never keep up with you. In the forge room. Oh, I was about to say, I don't even see you on the map. Oh, that's yeah, right. I, I, I do got to go down and check out this new forge room. Yeah, I'm slowly, I'm trying to expand it so that we can have more room down here. Yeah. Oh, that's because you're downstairs. Yeah, because I'm in the forge area. I'm getting an echo. There, it stopped. Hey, what the heck? I got stuck on the ladder. I am hearing an echo. I think it's from your screen, actually. Really, from my. Here, yeah, I'll turn it down a little bit. How is it now? Um, better. Okay. I, I still ha I still hear it a little bit, but it's not near as predominant as it was. I could actually hear myself talking through my headset. <laughs> yeah, it's weird how these headsets work. Well, if I can hear it through my headset, that means it's picking up on the recording. Yeah, this is just a small little room, but it's a nice room. Was that yours or mine? Mine. Oh, okay. I'm overheating. That means I probably will soon, too. The clothes on your character are, like, way too big for it. Oh, she's wearing... You should... You, you, yeah, you should see the gap in the back. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, my gosh. I can't wait. I can't wait till I get permission to post these videos. <laughs> it's funny looking. E13. Yeah, yeah, definitely. 
Well, you can't see skin or anything. You can see her shirt, but there's like a huge gap between her shirt and the uh, leather hide or poncho, whatever she's wearing. That's funny. <laughs> Wardrobe malfunction on seven days to die. <laughs> yeah, funny thing about this, you can't like twist your character around when you're looking at the player. Yeah. They look like. Yeah, I know. Oh, I also got a machete. Oh, did you? Yeah, I found a machete on a corpse. Nice. Put myself a shotgun together. I don't worry about guns too much. I like using the arrows. Yeah, but the guns are like a last resort, and I kind of realized I didn't get them. Ah. Uh, I kept dying in close quarters, so... Uh, I've got a pistol, but I think I've only got two ammo on me. Oh, I've got seven rounds, okay. This next, the... Oh, here comes a horde. Oh, yeah, nothing like having a wandering horde on horde night. Yeah, I'm gonna go over here and kill some. It's an experience. I'm gonna do it from up here. Or not. So far, I think I've only hit one. Wow, there's a bunch of them. Alright, maybe I'll come down and join you. Yeah, I did get dabbing playing Bigfoot, though. I should have recorded that. That was hilarious. The only thing, the only good thing about him is, man, he can, he's got situational awareness. He really does. All of them. Holy cow. Yep. This bike club comes in handy. Yeah, I know. I'm glad I made one. Oh, no. You've got the spike. I've got the barbed. Yeah, I found this one on the court. I have a machete. So I guess I might as well get some corpses. I'll leave that to you. You killed them all, you can clean it up. <laughs> I think when we get the foundation, well, it depends how big we want it to be, because I'm not quite sure. Because I want to at least have a 10 by 10 area for the garden. Yeah, but you're still debating on putting the garden outside or not. No, no, it's still going to be on the inside. Like oh, the okay. Of the, uh, the, uh, um, what I'm trying to say is, like, we're going to have, like, an outer defense, like a wall. Right. And eventually we'll have some blade traps and some maybe some turrets. But I was saying we'll have, like, the garden on the inside of the perimeter, like, on the inside of the walls. Oh, okay. We'll have, like, a greenhouse. I mean, we could always have it on, like, maybe the roof of our building. Once we have down our uh, our main building, we could always put it on the roof if we really wanted to. Right. So I'd have to build, we'd have to build the 10 by 10 for the building itself. But I'm I'm just not sure how many levels we're going to put in the building. We can always expand. I'm just well, we don't... trying to figure out. I don't want to make it too big because, like, in my single player, I made the base way too big. So then I had spike traps and then I had blade traps, but I just didn't have enough electricity for all of my blade traps. Ah. Uh. Problem. So I had because it, it's weird how they have the electricity set up in this because 
kind of have to have separate generators for because for some reason you can't wire everything together i don't know why it's just because when you connect one wire one generator to the same same are you uh, kidding me is that a screamer yeah i just saw it walking towards this because you can't connect the same oh crap so. i was too busy talking and walking at the same time <laughs> You know what? I'm not wasting my ammo. See ya. Are they destroying all my nice new pretty traps down there? They are. Yeah, they can suck about these spikes. They don't last very long. That's also what sucks about these hordes all the dang time. I know this. For some reason, this location sucks because they're always attracted to this area. Now, why is it every location that you pick for the first one is always hectic? I don't know, but hopefully when we when we build over there in that spot I have picked out, we'll be good. Uh, I mean, even in the other game that we played, the very first one that you picked out was the house in the middle of nowhere that kept getting attacked. I, I know, I've noticed that too. I'm not sure if maybe the wandering hordes are actually attracted to the heat or what. I'm sure eventually someone in the comments will say something about that too. Yeah, I'm sure. That's the one nice thing about the comments is they teach us. Oh yeah, I've learned that from just watching YouTube alone anyway about how to play this game. You, you figure out all the steps and secrets and always try to figure out new ways to build stuff and, I mean some ways it just seems kind of odd but if it works it works yeah like upside down spikes yeah that, that was the weird part I didn't even realize you could do that Yeah, it just seems weird. Seems like they'd just be able to walk right over them. Yeah, it's like Minecraft. Minecraft. Uh, it, it, it just doesn't make sense. Like, you can have buildings without supports, but you can have spikes that aren't even supported. <coughs> you can have it jump right down. Oh, I better not venture too far. I just realized what time it was. Yeah, it's almost Fortnite. I'm going to pop down a couple more trees and then plant them all. I can't wait to get a chainsaw. The only thing that sucks about the chainsaw is they do attract zombies. Everything attracts zombies. Yeah, but not when you're using a fire axe. True. Yeah, well, the, even the sound. Yeah, but that's the thing about this game. The AI isn't too smart sometimes. Like, you can walk right by a darn wolf. They won't do anything. Definitely, eventually, we're gonna need to make glue to make boat, to make duct tape and all that stuff. You know, one of the things I'd like to see implemented in this is animal traps. Are you kidding me? Zombie? A small horde before horde? Another horde. Oh, yeah. Actually, in the mods. Where are they like, at? I I hear them. I can't find them. They have small animal traps, like rabbit traps and stuff. <clears throat> yeah, but we play unmodded. I know. I don't even. I'm not even sure. How would we downloaded mods for this game? Exactly. Like how? How do you download mods for Steam games alone? Oh, I do it all the time for some of the other games that I have. I just go into the Steam community pages and download off of there. Oh, okay. And then uh, most of your games have uh, mod managers already built in them. And then you just go in and pick which mods you want to use. Okay, night vision time. Okay, where are they coming from? Southeast. Really? 
Really? You gotta use the shotgun already? I just feel like it, what can I say? I'm already a zombie. Did you say you're already a zombie? Yeah. Wouldn't that be crazy if you could become a zombie? That would be I weird. Like that, but I really, I don't know if I'd be able to play that. Yeah, I know. Cause I think that they kind of did that in Halo, where you could become like a flood or something. Or no, they you could become the elites and run around with the sword. And just what's that called? Darn, it's been so long since I played Halo. Dang, I cannot aim very well with this bow. Aren't you using your compound? No, I need to repair it and I don't have the schematic for it. Ah. So I, I had to make a wooden bow. Oh, I miss. Swing and a miss. Oh, man. Again. Wow, they are just coming. Yeah, we're getting a lot this horde night. Wow, they're just hitting them spikes to die. Come on, big guy. Difficult to do this with night vision. Oh no. Oh uh, no, I'm doing it without night vision. Oh, there's a dog. He's dead. Yep. Yeah. Like, took care of him. Oh yeah, dabbing is definitely missing the fun on this one. Yeah, he shouldn't have went to bed so early. Well, I'm glad he finally got this game to join us. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll get Sasquatch here or something. I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to download it. I've been trying to watch some Netflix. <laughs> well, I found a couple more single player games that I want to get <coughs> put on the channel. I'm so used to the compound bow, I cannot aim with the wooden bow. It's not that hard if you use the crosshairs. Yeah, but I usually aim in a little bit. Because it's more... I don't know, it just seems like it... It, it just... Because crosshairs seem to be a little cheap to me for some reason. They are. I really should turn them off, but I like to cheat. Because, like, with a real bow, you're not going to have a crosshair. Yeah, you're right. Well, I mean, a real, like, wooden bow. Eventually, I might take the crosshairs off and stop cheating. Well, if you aim in, like, you just use the left trigger and hold it down, it'll get rid of crosshairs. Oh. I that's am... what I do a lot. I aim in a little bit. Ah. <laughs> okay. I think we depleted the horde. I hear something yet. There's something below us, I think. 
And there's one zombie over here coming. Check out the dog. It's dancing. <laughs> Is it dead? I'm not sure. It's moving. I'm hitting it and nothing's happening. Oh yeah, where is it? It's somewhere. Did you find? Yeah, it's a... There she's dead. Okay. How many shots did it take you? <laughs> Five, I think. Yeah. Well, that's how strong Big Bertha is. If you don't get a headshot, she takes a while to take down. I'm looking at the time, and I know Horde Knight is not over yet. It's not, but we've pretty much exhausted it. They'll send, like, one zombie at a time now. I'm gonna go down and loot. I think we're still way too early for that. Eh, better to get it done now than later. Oh, here comes some more. Just one from what I see. <laughs> you just stood there and watched... You just stood there and watched her hit the spikes. That was great. She didn't even do anything. She didn't even try to come out. I'm getting echo again. What'd you do? Nothing. Oh. It's just every now and then. It's not all the time. Oh, here comes another one. And here comes another one. Alright, well, I do believe you are now right that Ward Night is over. So we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Well, I mean, it's technically not over until 4, but it's pretty much completed. Yeah. Uh, I want to come down and help you, and if I die, I don't want to catch it on recording. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that just wouldn't be funny. You sure? <laughs> it would be embarrassing. <laughs> and yet here I still am recording. <laughs> Uh, 
There's another one. Oh, are you kidding me? She stunned me. <laughs> die, die. See, I told you that wouldn't be funny. <laughs> I hear another one coming. Yep, there she is. See, I'm standing on this side of the spikes this time. <laughs> She's done. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think it's I think it's time to call it. Let's let's go ahead and end the episode. Alrighty. So hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment. Let us know what your thoughts are. And we'll. Let us know maybe what we should do to this little temporary base of ours until we build our other base. Actually, they should probably let it start letting us know what to do on the regular base because that's what we're getting ready to start next. We're going to be True. building. Yeah. We're going to be building in the snow biome. So we'll see y'all in the next episode. Later. <laughs>